keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Wait here. I'll go inside. Open the door for you. Just keep the noise down. A big beer boss. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet. You'll wake them. another way in. We did it! Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Happiness will come to me.
Dolo was a magician. Geralt. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Hmm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor, but the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the Lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? Purer than yours, that's certain. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection. But you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port.
so? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. I could use a little rest myself. Good idea. Get some sleep. Geralt? Geralt, wake up. Uh, what? Yen? Something wrong? Wake up. Sit with us a while. Triss? You here too? What's, uh, going on? We need to tell you something. You two are acting strange. Us? No. Yen and I, well, we talked and concluded that we've wasted much too much time fighting over you. Meanwhile, we'll probably soon face the Wild Hunt. Most likely battle Aridin himself, and who knows what could happen. So, we decided we must try to make the most of the time we have left. Together. Together? Go on. We've always loved each other. You're in love with us. There's no point in fighting it. We must enjoy what we have. So, we've prepared something special. Come by the Kingfisher this evening. Bring wine. Lots of wine. See you later, love. I can't wait. This will be interesting. Dandelion himself, who's forever telling stories of you and your adventures to, of your hunt for the dragon, and how you outfoxed the Sylvan midst the hemp of the battle for the bridge, and how he saved you from bandits. I'd like to hear that one sometime myself. Ooh, one never tires of Dandelion's tales and ballads. Why, all will be amazed when I tell them the wolf himself takes joy in listening to them. Now, tell me how I may be of service. Something to wet your tongue? What do you have to drink that's good? Take care now. 